they wouldn't have been able to even see the book yet, probably. It yeah. probably still wouldn't have been out. Wow. If, if it weren't for Mark's work. So you would recommend PDF Marks? Absolutely. Right. A thousand percent. Right. Hi there. Hi. Okay. Hi, everybody. David Dilling from Marksware. And today we have a, a guest on the line, a, a Marksware user, a PDF Marks user, uh, Pamela Sackett. Uh, Pamela, welcome. Thank you. Hi. And she's all the way from Seattle, Washington, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, she has a very interesting background. I've been taking a peek on the webpage. But maybe you could tell us, Pamela, about who you are and the company you work for. Okay. Well, I am a co founder of a 501c3 nonprofit. And I founded, I founded the concept of emotion literacy in 1992. And around, uh, well, 2001, we became a, a nonprofit. I've been a teaching artist. I'm a multidisciplinary language artist, which means I write um, songs and scripts and books and, you know, um, all different ways, artistic ways of communicating. And... Uh, I came up with the term emotional literacy in, in 92 for a conference, and then that developed over time. And we create learning forums for insight into emotion through language and the arts. That's our sort of our condensed mission. Well, I've written 10 books, actually. Oh, wow. uh, I've written like, well, I've written books and many scripts and many, many songs. One of the books that I wrote that is more of a plain English book is how I uh refer to it is I can, I could show it. I have it on my desk. I can 12 ways to witness the heart. And, um, it is a tiny book fits in your pocket, very dense, very densely written, uh, which is the definition of emotion literacy. Many people have asked me for years because I show up with this artistic uh, material and people say, but what is it? What is emotional literacy? What is it? You know? Yeah. And it took me 20 years, but I finally put it, that has a, a whole story to it, how it came to be in this little book. But it's, it's very clearly delineated what I mean by it, what the benefits are, why it's challenging and, you know, a real kind of like basic practical application, how to think about it so it could be better understood. There's a woman in India who said, after reading that book, now she knows what it is, you know. I'll leave a link to your site uh, down below as well, because it looks very interesting what you do, how you, oh, thank you, you. you know, through the, through theater, theater and, 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 and the arts, you help yeah. educate, you know, this, uh, yeah. th these concepts. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's go. We're going to, yeah, we'll jump into the, to the books on the, on the um, production side, but how did you learn about Marksware? Through sheer desperation. <laughs> I could wow. tell you. Yeah. If, you're de if you are urgent enough <laughs> um we basically i have been um i've been a lucky recipient of um generosity of two software companies one is a skills-based recruiting agency in new york and the other one is an image agency image software uh out of australia and both of those companies smiled on emotional literacy advocates and said you can use our services pro bono. The other agency, the software company out of Australia, gave us access to this image uh, software. And that's where I prepared all the pages for the songbooks. So I learned the ropes and uh, it took me a while to get that down, but I really did learn how to use it to a certain extent. And then for one of the projects I put up through this agency in New York, this New Yorker cartoonist showed up and said, I'm really curious about emotion literacy. I want to learn about that. And so he started doing cartoon. Basically, he immersed himself in the writing that I've done, the books, the songs, all this material on behalf of ELA. Um, and he said, may I just spout cartoons and I thought if I could crack the code and come up with a sort of a narrative formula to go with these cartoons maybe we could do a book of these you know I was posting them on social media and now I've removed them but it was interesting because people really liked them and really responded to them well I came up with the narrative portraits and then eventually a couple of questions and decided this is a book for people who 
deliberately want to do self-reflective writing. So that's called journaling, I guess. Yeah. And so I developed all the pages on this software that had been given to us, the pro bono access to that. And when we came time, when it came time for us to do the book, we discovered that the file from that service, and that is not going to translate for print on demand, which we were shifting everything to because we were initially picking the printer, having the books printed, storing them, fulfilling the orders and all that. And we stopped doing that. So we started accessing these print on demand services and they don't accept that kind of file. So what it would mean is we would have to cut and paste. We would have to basically lose all those hours I spent designing every page meticulously, the format, how it sat, where it sat on the page, how it sat on the page, what the font was, you know, the graphics for the questions, all these things. And we actually did find a volunteer from India that offered to do it, but I didn't know if she would be able to uh, transfer everything and preserve the formatting right. and the design. Right. And I thought, oh, this is going to be weeks down the road. Or my husband, who's a big part of the organization, uh, he's an IT person, so he's technically quite adept, but I didn't want him to start from scratch on InDesign because that was the whole point of me doing it there was so that, I mean, he doesn't really have the time. Right. And all my time is devoted to this. So uh, it was just, I couldn't accept that. And I said to Daniel, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to get this file translated into an InDesign file. So my husband, who's very intuitive, was looking online. And I don't know if it was you. I don't know who it was. But someone from your company, from Marksware, did a video uh, naming the company we were using. And oh. that they could convert that file from there. You know, and the Canva. Canva. Canva, right. Yeah. The, the previous printer I used for my ICANN book, um, I called them up. And they said, well, we, we accept, we're, we're in partnership with Canva. We'll accept that file. But the book, which is a half color book, it's a color book because the cartoons are in color. Um, it would have cost a fortune to have it printed independently like that. Right, right, so right. print on demand was really the only way we were going to be able to do a color book and do it sooner than later if we could find that. And when Daniel found that, I thought, oh, my God. Yeah, PDF this is, marks. This is, this yeah, yeah. This is a miracle. It was a video tutorial. Yeah, yeah I made a little video yeah. about Canva, Canva PDFs to InDesign because we get a lot of them in every day. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It, well, yeah. And I'm like, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe my ears that this was, this was something we. This was the the remedy for this dilemma we were in, that we had no idea we'd be in because when I developed the book. I wasn't thinking about print on demand no. uh, at all. And right. I was urged to do that. Um, and because a lot of people would rather go to a more familiar site to order a book than our site, even though we have a beautiful site, as you, yeah, can, yeah, you know, yeah. um, it's an unfamiliar site for a lot of people. Right. And so anyway, I, I had no idea that that was what was awaiting us down the road. Um, Yes. And by the way, I mean, just so people know, I mean, some people probably do know, but Canva.com is fantastic. It's a, it, 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 it's like an InDesign, but it's online. It's not quite maybe as workflow powerful as InDesign, you know, like for, for, for uh, certain printing projects for long documents, et cetera. But you can do so much in Canva, like you had all formatting styles, colors. Oh my God. Well, and also for all five books, well, one of them was already done in another through, an, through uh, another channel with through a collaboration I did with this Native American artist for one of my books. But for the other four titles, I wanted to have a trailer like I did for the I Can book. I have four other titles that I wanted to have musical trailers. I did them all on on Canva. Wow! And yeah, they came yeah. Out beautiful. I mean, it's and they gave us that gift 
for the lifetime of our organization because they can, 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 that can bear themselves. Yes, it, oh, they that's did. so nice. Well, they're a great company. I really love them. I love the way they, they do things and I love their products and yeah. they keep innovating. But the, the reality is that a lot of people still need to get things into InDesign for designers that want it in Adobe uh, ecosystem for printing and for some yeah, publishing. Yeah. So, yeah. And really, there was nothing else because actually we were discouraged in our initial search because I think there were actual things to say, oh, no way, no way can you do this. No way can you take a camera file and get it ready for blah, 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 you know, in design. And, and it was, but he, I said, no, there has to be something. There has to be something. Yeah. And so we were... Wow. We just found out about it. We tried it and that didn't quite work. And then he called us and, or I called him and then he called back and there it was. And Daniel was there checking it as it came through. And there were very few things that need to be adjusted. It was not right. Really there will be some mind. touching up. Every, every design is different and it can, it can require more touching up or none. So, yeah. and it was probably it, Mark, sure. probably Mark it, who helped you out. I think it was, Mark. what's his last name? Uh, Singlin. That's it. Right. And it. just so the, 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 the viewers understand is that we don't have any demos for our conversion products. For our flight check product, we do. But for our conversion products, we don't. But we do have a web submission where you can submit a, a, a test file and we'll do a, a test conversion for you. Yeah. So you can yeah. see how it works. But um, Yeah, yeah. But it, it was... Seriously, I, I, there were, there were many hours we had to look forward to because of submitting the files and this and that, that happens when you put a book out. I mean, right. it's a lot of work if you want it to be what you want it to be. Oh yeah. Know? How much time do you think it saved you this, this PDF marks conversion? Well, it, it's hard to know because we may have tried to rely on a volunteer initially and if she couldn't have done it. Um, the, the thought was more like over how long of a period of time, if Daniel had to have done it, he would only have been able to work on it on a weekend. Right. So it could have gone weeks and weeks and weeks. Now the book is out. It's already benefited people's lives. I mean, this is the book need feel right. Wow. And can, can you split? I mean, is it how many pages? Oh, yeah. Are... So I'll show you a little bit. Um, Oh, it's a pretty big book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some of the, oh, yeah. Just so you know, my childhood memories will be joining us tonight. <laughs> we don't have another book in the works, but we might. And yet I'm thinking, well, if I do it on Canva, we're going to have, I mean, I know I could. And then you could just Marksware again. export the PDF and then, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. could, I yeah. could. And that would be good because I really enjoy working with Canva and yeah. I really enjoy designing pages. Yeah. As long as I don't do too much of it and sit too long. But, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So awesome. It's been, you know, I mean, the book has gotten three reviews on Amazon and they're all five star out of five. Wow. Ratings. And they've already, it's already um, shown itself the book to be very beneficial in people's lives because I've been getting emails about it yeah. and they wouldn't have been able to even see the book yet. Probably it yeah. probably still wouldn't have been out. Wow. If, if it weren't for Mark's work. I, mean, I always ask everyone this. I think we already clearly know it, but would you recommend PDF marks to potential buyers? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I'm sure my situation isn't, unique i mean it may be unique in in the configuration of needs however i already know because i've talked to daniel a lot about it. he says oh yeah that would be so good for this and this and this you know he's probably a better person to talk to about this technically because he understood and he's the one that worked with it um but yeah i first of all it's a everybody i've met with mark square has been amazing wow. just amazing and so dear, so kind and um, caring, such caring people, really. So that that is a huge thing. Thank right you. There. Yeah, yeah, that's you, important to uh, us. That comes from the, you know, the, the, the management down, so to speak, you know. So. Yeah, and, and I, yeah, I would, I mean, especially, I know Canva is pretty, um, pretty well known and a lot of people use it. And there are a lot of people wanting to put books out and perhaps they're in a similar situation that we were in, that they're actually designing their book on camera. I don't know. I think people that, that this was, 
I mean, I don't, I think because Canva talks about books and turning things into books, it didn't even occur to me that there would be some technical complication around it. Right. You know? And right. they also have like a printing service, which isn't the same. It's not print on demand, so I couldn't use that. But it didn't dawn on me that there would be any technical um, uh, challenges with that. Right. And when we discovered it, it was a very sinking feeling. Yeah. It was a real sinking feeling. And so the finding Marksware through that tutorial, um, I was just gape jaw. I was like, wow. Oh, you know, because I, I said there has to be something out there. Right. There so has to be. So you would recommend PDF marks? Absolutely. Right. A thousand percent. Right. And make yeah. sure you yeah, tell Canva about it too, because maybe they could help other people in the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah. excellent. Well, thank you so very much, uh, Pamela. It's been really a pleasure uh, talking to you. Where can people get more information about Emotion Literacy Advocate? Well, I think there's quite a bit of information on our site, which is emolit.org, E M O L I T dot O R G. And that would be a great place to start. I think there's access to our YouTube channel. It has all yeah. those book trailers I mentioned in a playlist. So um, wow. I, I yeah. devoted decades of my life <laughs> to this mission. Very um, good. Well, Pamela, yeah. thank you very much for your time. I'll leave the links down below. And I appreciate all your information on PDF marks and how you got your Canva file into InDesign. Yes, thank you. Yeah. All right, take care.